In this problem, we're told a 30 kilogram object slides down a slope which is inclined 27 degrees to the horizontal. What is the normal force on the object? So the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. And so keep in mind, we're going to be drawing a free body diagram since we're dealing with forces. So we have this object. We know its mass is 30 kilograms. And it's going to be on a 27 uh, degree slope. And what we're going to be doing is solving for the normal force. So we're trying to find F sub n. And so keep in mind that F sub n is always perpendicular to the force uh, or the object that it's touching. So in this case, since it's on the slope like this, the F sub n is going to be this way. And so what you want to do is treat this axis as the y axis, and then this axis that I'm drawing here as the x axis. And you'll see why in a second. But what we're going to do is take the sum of the forces in the y. And so keep in mind the sum of the forces are going to have to be equal to zero since it's not moving in the y. And so what are the forces in the y we have there, here? So we're going to treat a force going upwards as positive and a force going this way as uh, negative, right? Just imagine like it's a normal uh, y-axis. This is positive, this is negative. So we know we have F sub n going in the positive direction. So we have F sub n. And then we also have another force going this way. And this is going to be the force due to gravity. And so keep in mind, since this is angled like this, in order to find the force due to, or the, right, so the force due to gravity, it's going to be equal to mg times the cosine of theta. So this is because it's at an angle. So if you want to find the force due to gravity in the y-axis, you use this right here. So m is just the mass of the object, g is just gravity, and then theta, in this case, it's basically, um, what theta is, it's this angle right here. So basically the angle theta is the same as the incline. So we have minus, since it's going downwards in the y-direction, mg times the cosine of uh, theta. And so we know this equals zero. And so these are going to be the only forces. And if we add this to the other side, it basically tells us F sub n, or the normal force, is just equal to um, the force due to gravity in the y direction. So we just need to solve for that. So F sub n equals the mass, in this case it's 30, times g, which we estimate to be 9.8, and then uh, cosine of theta. Once again, theta is the angle of the incline, so 27. So basically just plug this in, 30 times 9.8 times the cosine of 27, and you're going to find it equals... 261.955 so basically 262 and then keep in mind this is in newton since it's a force and yeah so this right here is going to be your normal force and looking at our answers we can see c is uh, 262 so your answer to this problem is going to be c and yeah hopefully you found this useful